Chapter 1. Using Public Transportation Listen and practice. Do you know which bus goes to the city center? Yes, you can take bus number 5. How often does it run? Every 15 minutes, usually. Where is the nearest bus stop? Just around the corner, next to the cafe. Do I need exact change for the bus fare? Yes, it's better to have the exact amount. Can I pay with a card instead? Some buses accept cards, but not all. Is there a bus schedule available online? Yes, you can check it on the city's transit website. How long does the ride to the city center take? It takes about 30 minutes. Is the bus usually crowded at this time? It can be during rush hours, but it's manageable. Do I need to signal the driver to stop? Yes, press the stop button before your stop. Thanks for the information. You're welcome. Have a good trip. Chapter 2. Visiting a Pharmacy Listen and practice. Excuse me, do you have any cold medicine? Yes, we have several options. Do you prefer tablets or syrup? Tablets, please. Which one is the most effective? This brand here is very popular and effective. How often should I take it? One tablet every six hours, but not more than four tablets a day. Are there any side effects I should be aware of? It may cause drowsiness, so avoid driving. Do you have any lozenges for a sore throat? Yes, they're on the next shelf to your right. Can I take both the tablets and lozenges together? Yes, that's fine, but follow the dosage instructions. Do you accept health insurance for medication? Yes, we do. Do you have your insurance card with you? Yes, here it is. Great, let me process that for you. How much will I need to pay after insurance? Your total comes to $5. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Feel better soon. Chapter 3. Discussing Residency Requirements Listen and practice. What are the residency requirements for this country? You need to have a valid visa and proof of employment. How long does the visa process take? It can take anywhere from a few weeks to a few months. Do I need to show proof of income? Yes, you need to show that you can support yourself financially. What documents are required for proof of employment? A letter from your employer and recent pay stubs should suffice. Is there a language proficiency requirement? Yes, you need to pass a basic language test. Where can I take this language test? There are several accredited centers in the city. How long is the residency permit valid for? It's usually valid for one year, but it can be renewed. What happens if my visa expires? You need to apply for an extension before it expires. Can I travel outside the country with this permit? Yes, but you must inform the immigration office. Thank you for the information. No problem, happy to help. Chapter 4. Rentings and Apartment Listen and practice. I'm looking for an apartment to rent. Can you help me? Sure, what kind of apartment are you looking for? Something with two bedrooms and close to public transportation. I have a few listings that match your criteria. What is the average rent for a two-bedroom apartment? It ranges from $1,200 to $1,800 per month, depending on the area. Are utilities included in the rent? Some places include utilities, but it's best to ask each landlord. What documents do I need to apply? You'll need proof of income, a credit check, and references. How long does the application process take? Usually, it takes about a week. Can I negotiate the rent price? Sometimes, but it depends on the landlord. Is there a security deposit required? Yes, typically one month's rent as a deposit. Are pets allowed in most apartments? It varies, some places are pet-friendly, others are not. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Good luck with your search. Chapter 5. Booking a Hospital Appointment Listen and practice. I need to book a hospital appointment. Can you assist me? Of course. What type of appointment do you need? I need to see a specialist. Which specialist do you need to see? A cardiologist, please. I can check the availability for you. When is the earliest appointment available? The earliest is next Monday at 10 a.m. Does that work for you? Yes, that works. What do I need to bring? 
Please bring your ID, insurance card, and any previous medical records. Is there a copayment required? Yes, depending on your insurance, it could be around $20. Can I reschedule if something comes up? Yes, but please notify us at least 24 hours in advance. Will I get a reminder before the appointment? Yes, we will send you a reminder via text or email. How long is the appointment expected to last? Typically, around 30 minutes to an hour. Thank you for your assistance. You're welcome. See you on Monday. Chapter 6. Consulting about moving. Listen and practice. I'm planning to move next month. Can you help me with the logistics? Sure. Do you need help finding a moving company? Yes. Do you have any recommendations? I've used ABC Movers before, and they were great. How much do they charge? It depends on the distance and the amount of stuff you have. Do they help with packing as well? Yes, they offer packing services at an extra cost. How far in advance should I book them? It's best to book at least two weeks in advance. Do I need to provide any specific details when booking? Yes, you'll need to give them the address and an inventory list. Are there any hidden fees I should be aware of? No, they are pretty transparent with their pricing. Can I get a quote before I decide? Yes, they offer free quotes on their website. What about insurance for my belongings? They provide basic coverage, but you can purchase additional insurance if needed. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Good luck with your move. Chapter 7. Setting up an internet contract. Listen and practice. I need to set up an internet contract for my new apartment. Can you help me? Sure. Have you decided on a provider yet? No, not yet. Do you have any recommendations? I use XYZ Internet, and they've been reliable. What plans do they offer? They have various plans based on speed and data limits. Which plan do you suggest for streaming and working from home? I'd recommend their 100 megabits per second plan. How much does it cost per month? It's around $50 per month. Are there any installation fees? Yes, there is a one-time installation fee of $75. How long does it take to set up? They usually schedule installation within a week. Do they provide a modem and router? Yes, it's included in the installation fee. Can I bundle it with other services? Yes, they offer bundles with TV and phone services. Thanks for the information. You're welcome. Let me know if you need any more help. Chapter 8. Opening a bank account. Listen and practice. I need to open a bank account. Can you guide me through the process? Of course. Do you have a particular bank in mind? I'm thinking of going with ABC Bank. Good choice. Do you know what type of account you want to open? A checking account for daily transactions. You'll need to bring some identification and proof of address. What documents are acceptable for proof of address? Utility bills or a rental agreement usually work. Is there a minimum deposit required to open the account? Yes, for ABC Bank, it's $100. Do they offer online banking? Yes, their online banking system is quite user-friendly. Are there any monthly fees? It depends on the account type, but some accounts have no fees if you maintain a minimum balance. Can I get a debit card immediately? Yes, they'll issue a temporary card and the permanent one will be mailed to you. How long does it take to set up the account? It usually takes about 30 minutes. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Good luck with your new account. Chapter 9. Applying for a credit card. Listen and practice. I want to apply for a credit card. Can you help me understand the process? Sure. Have you chosen a bank yet? I was thinking of applying at XYZ Bank. That's a good option. Do you know which card you want? I'm looking for one with good rewards and low interest rates. XYZ Bank's Platinum Card might be a good fit for you. What are the requirements to apply? You need to have a good credit score and proof of income. How long does the approval process take? It usually takes a few days to a week. Are there any annual fees? The Platinum Card has no annual fee for the first year. What kind of rewards can I earn? You can earn points on purchases, which can be redeemed for travel, cash back, and more. 
How high is the interest rate? The interest rate is around 15%, but it can vary based on your credit score. Can I manage my account online? Yes, they have a comprehensive online and mobile banking system. Thank you for the information. You're welcome. Good luck with your application. Chapter 10 Enrolling a Child in School. Listen and practice. I need to enroll my child in school. Can you help me with the process? Sure. Do you know which school you want to enroll them in? Yes. I want to enroll them in Maple Elementary. You'll need to fill out an application form first. What documents do I need to provide? You'll need proof of residence, your child's birth certificate, and vaccination records. Where can I get the application form? You can download it from the school's website or pick it up at the school office. Is there an enrollment deadline? Yes, the deadline is usually at the end of June. Are there any fees for enrollment? There might be a small registration fee. Do they offer any orientation for new students? Yes, they have an orientation day a week before school starts. How can I find out about the school's curriculum and activities? The school's website has detailed information, and you can also ask during the orientation. Are there any after-school programs available? Yes, they offer various after-school programs and clubs. Thanks for your assistance. You're welcome. I hope your child enjoys their new school. Chapter 11. Consulting about insurance. Listen and practice. I need to consult about getting health insurance. Can you help me? Absolutely. Have you looked into any providers yet? I've been considering ABC Insurance. They have a good reputation. Do you know what kind of coverage you need? I need comprehensive coverage, including dental and vision. ABC Insurance has a plan that covers all of that. What documents do I need to apply? You'll need your ID, proof of income, and any current health records. Are there any waiting periods for coverage to start? Yes, typically there's a 30-day waiting period for new policies. How much does the premium usually cost? It varies, but for comprehensive coverage, expect around $200 per month. Are there copays for doctor visits? Yes, most plans have copays around $20 per visit. Can I add family members to the plan? Yes, you can add family members for an additional cost. Is there an online portal to manage my policy? Yes, ABC Insurance has a user-friendly online portal. Thanks for the information. You're welcome. Feel free to ask if you have more questions. Chapter 12. Paying Utility Bills Listen and practice. I need to pay my utility bills. Can you tell me how? Sure. Do you prefer paying online or in person? I'd like to pay online. Most utility companies have a website where you can set up an account. What information do I need to set up an account? You'll need your account number from the bill and some personal details. Are there any fees for paying online? Some companies charge a small convenience fee. Can I set up automatic payments? Yes, you can usually set up automatic payments through the website. What if I prefer to pay in person? You can pay at their office or at authorized payment locations. How do I know my payment went through? You should receive a confirmation email or receipt. Can I get reminders for my due dates? Yes, most companies offer email or text reminders. What if I miss a payment? You may incur a late fee, and it's best to contact the company immediately. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Paying bills can be a hassle, but it's important. Chapter 13. Requesting Home Repairs Listen and practice. I need to request some home repairs. Can you guide me? Of course. Are you renting or do you own your home? I'm renting. You should contact your landlord or property manager first. What information do I need to provide? Describe the problem in detail and mention any urgency. Is there a specific form I need to fill out? Some places have a maintenance request form, but an email can work too. How long does it usually take for repairs to be done? It depends on the issue, but usually within a week. Can I request emergency repairs? Yes, for urgent issues like plumbing or electrical problems. Do I need to be home during the repairs? It's not necessary, but it's better if you can be there. Are there any costs involved? 
Typically, the landlord covers repair costs, but it's good to check your lease. What if the repairs are not done properly? Report it again to the landlord or property manager. Thanks for the information. You're welcome. I hope the repairs go smoothly. Chapter 14 Talking with a Workplace Colleague Listen and practice. Hey, do you have a minute to discuss the project? Sure, what's up? I'm having trouble with the new software. What seems to be the issue? It keeps crashing when I try to save my work. Have you tried updating it? Yes, I've updated it, but the problem persists. Maybe it's a compatibility issue. What operating system are you using? I'm on Windows 10. That should be fine. Have you contacted IT support? Not yet. I thought I'd ask you first. It's probably best to submit a ticket to IT. They can troubleshoot it for you. Do you know how long it usually takes for them to respond? They're pretty quick, usually within a few hours. Thanks for the advice. No problem. Let me know if you need any more help. I will. Thanks again. Anytime. Good luck with the project. Chapter 15. Renewing a Driver's License Listen and practice. I need to renew my driver's license. Can you help me? Sure. Do you know what documents you need? No, I'm not sure. You'll need your current license, proof of residence, and possibly your social security card. Can I renew it online? Yes, in some states you can renew online if you meet certain criteria. What if I need to do it in person? You'll need to make an appointment at the DMV. Do I need to take a new photo? Yes, they usually take a new photo for the renewal. How much does the renewal cost? It varies by state, but it's typically around $25. How long does it take to get the new license? It usually arrives by mail within a few weeks. Can I drive with the old license while waiting for the new one? Yes, you can use the receipt as temporary proof. Are there any tests required for renewal? Usually, no tests are needed unless you have a specific condition. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Drive safely. Chapter 16. Renting an Apartment Listen and practice. I'm looking for an apartment to rent. Can you help me? Sure. What kind of apartment are you looking for? Something with two bedrooms and close to public transportation. I have a few listings that match your criteria. What is the average rent for a two-bedroom apartment? It ranges from $1,200 to $1,800 per month, depending on the area. Are utilities included in the rent? Some places include utilities, but it's best to ask each landlord. What documents do I need to apply? You'll need proof of income, a credit check, and references. How long does the application process take? Usually, it takes about a week. Can I negotiate the rent price? Sometimes, but it depends on the landlord. Is there a security deposit required? Yes, typically one month's rent as a deposit. Are pets allowed in most apartments? It varies, some places are pet-friendly, others are not. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Good luck with your search. Chapter 17. Visiting a Pharmacy Listen and practice. Excuse me, do you have any cold medicine? Yes, we have several options. Do you prefer tablets or syrup? Tablets, please. Which one is the most effective? This brand here is very popular and effective. How often should I take it? One tablet every six hours, but not more than four tablets a day. Are there any side effects I should be aware of? It may cause drowsiness, so avoid driving. Do you have any lozenges for a sore throat? Yes, they're on the next shelf to your right. Can I take both the tablets and lozenges together? Yes, that's fine, but follow the dosage instructions. Do you accept health insurance for medication? Yes, we do. Do you have your insurance card with you? Yes, here it is. Great, let me process that for you. How much will I need to pay after insurance? Your total comes to $5. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Feel better soon. Chapter 18. Grocery Shopping Listen and practice. Do you know where the organic produce section is? 
Yes, it's in aisle 4, near the dairy section. Thanks. Do they have a good selection of fruits and vegetables? Yes, they have a wide variety of organic options. What's the best time to shop to avoid crowds? Early mornings or late evenings are usually less crowded. Do they offer any discounts on bulk purchases? Yes, you can often get discounts if you buy in bulk. How can I find out about weekly specials? They usually have flyers at the entrance, and you can also check online. Do they have a loyalty program? Yes, you can sign up for their rewards card at customer service. Can I use digital coupons here? Yes, just show them at checkout. Is there a section for international foods? Yes, it's in aisle 10. They have a good selection of international items. Do they have a bakery section? Yes, it's near the entrance. They bake fresh bread daily. Thanks for the tips. You're welcome. Happy shopping. Chapter 19 Procedures at the Post Office Listen and practice. I need to send a package overseas. Can you help me? Sure. Do you know which country you're sending it to? Yes, it's going to Japan. You'll need to fill out a customs declaration form. Where can I get the form? You can get it at the counter or download it from the post office website. How much will it cost to send the package? It depends on the weight and shipping speed. They can give you a quote at the counter. How long will it take to arrive? Typically, it takes about 7 to 10 days for standard shipping. Can I track the package? Yes, you'll receive a tracking number when you send it. What are the prohibited items? You can check the list on the customs form or ask the staff. Do I need to insure the package? It's optional, but recommended for valuable items. Can I pay with a credit card? Yes, they accept credit cards. Thank you for your assistance. You're welcome. Have a good day. Chapter 20 Registering for Healthcare Listen and practice. I need to register for healthcare. Can you guide me through the process? Of course. Do you have a specific healthcare provider in mind? I'm considering XYZ Health. They have a good reputation. Do you know what plan you need? I need a comprehensive plan that includes dental and vision. XYZ Health offers several comprehensive plans. What documents do I need to provide? You'll need your ID, proof of income, and any current health records. How long does the registration process take? It usually takes a few days to a week. Are there any waiting periods for coverage to start? Yes, typically there's a 30-day waiting period. How much is the monthly premium? It varies, but for comprehensive coverage, expect around $200 per month. Can I add family members to the plan? Yes, you can add family members for an additional cost. Is there an online portal to manage my policy? Yes, XYZ Health has a user-friendly online portal. Thanks for the information. You're welcome. Feel free to ask if you have more questions. Chapter 21, Handling a Car Breakdown Listen and practice. My car broke down on the highway. What should I do? First, make sure you're safe. Pull over to the shoulder and turn on your hazard lights. Should I call a tow truck? Yes, call a tow truck or roadside assistance. Do you have their number? Yes, I have it saved on my phone. Good. Also, stay in your car while you wait, unless it's unsafe. What if I don't have a roadside assistance plan? You can still call a local tow truck company. How long does it usually take for a tow truck to arrive? It depends, but usually within 30 minutes to an hour. Should I contact my insurance company? Yes, let them know about the breakdown, especially if you need a rental car. Will my insurance cover the towing costs? It depends on your policy. Check with your insurance provider. What if I need repairs? The tow truck can take your car to a nearby mechanic. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Stay safe. Chapter 22 Booking a Hotel Room Listen and practice. I need to book a hotel room for my trip. Can you help me? Sure. Do you have a specific hotel in mind? I'm thinking of staying at the Grand Hotel. Good choice. What type of room are you looking for? A double room with a city view. Do you need it for a specific date? Yes, from July 10th to July 15th. 
Let me check availability. It looks like they have rooms available. How much is the nightly rate? It's $150 per night. Does that include breakfast? Yes, breakfast is included in the rate. What amenities does the hotel offer? They have a gym, a pool, and free Wi-Fi. Can I cancel the reservation if needed? Yes, they offer free cancellation up to 24 hours before check-in. Great, I'd like to book it. All set. You'll receive a confirmation email shortly. Chapter 23. Scheduling a Dentist Appointment Listen and practice. I need to schedule a dentist appointment. Can you help me? Of course. Do you have a preferred dentist? Yes, Dr. Smith at the downtown clinic. Great. Do you need a specific date and time? I'd prefer an appointment next Monday morning. Let me check availability. Dr. Smith has an opening at 9 a.m. That works for me. Do you need a cleaning or is it for a specific issue? I need a cleaning and a checkup. Okay, I'll book you in for a cleaning and checkup. Do I need to bring any documents? Just bring your insurance card and ID. Is there a co-payment required? Yes, it's usually around $20, but it depends on your insurance. How long will the appointment take? It should take about an hour. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. See you on Monday. Chapter 24. Making a reservation at a restaurant. Listen and practice. I'd like to make a reservation at a restaurant. Can you help me? Sure. Which restaurant are you thinking of? The Italian Bistro downtown. What date and time do you need the reservation for? This Saturday at 7 p.m. How many people will be in your party? For people. Let me check availability. They have a table for four at 7 p.m. Great. Please reserve it for me. Done. The reservation is under your name. Do they have a dress code? Yes, they prefer business casual attire. Is there parking available nearby? Yes, there's a parking garage next to the restaurant. Can I request a specific seating area? Yes, you can request it when you arrive. Thank you for your assistance. You're welcome. Enjoy your meal. Chapter 25. Discussing Job Responsibilities Listen and practice. Can we talk about my job responsibilities? Sure. What would you like to discuss? I'm not clear on my main tasks for this project. Your main tasks include coordinating with the team and managing the timeline. What about the budget management? Yes, you'll also be responsible for tracking the project budget. Are there any specific deadlines I should be aware of? The initial phase should be completed by the end of this month. Will I be reporting directly to you? Yes, you'll report to me and I'll provide feedback regularly. How often will we have project meetings? We'll have weekly meetings every Monday morning. Can I suggest some process improvements? Absolutely. Your input is always welcome. What resources will I have access to? You'll have access to all the necessary software and support from the IT team. Is there anything else I should know? Just keep communication open and let me know if you encounter any issues. Thanks for clarifying. You're welcome. Let's make this project a success. Chapter 26. Returning an item to a store. Listen and practice. Hi. I'd like to return this sweater. Sure. Do you have the receipt with you? Yes, here it is. Is there any particular reason for the return? It's too small and the color doesn't suit me. No problem. Would you like a refund or an exchange? I'd prefer a refund, please. Okay, let me process that for you. How long will it take for the refund to show up in my account? It usually takes three to five business days. Do I need to sign anything? Yes, please sign here. Is the return policy the same for all items? Most items, yes, but some have special conditions. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Have a great day. Chapter 27. Finding housing as a new immigrant. Listen and practice. I need help finding housing as a new immigrant. Sure. What type of housing are you looking for? A small apartment close to public transportation. I recommend checking online listings and visiting local real estate agents. 
What documents will I need to provide? You'll need proof of income, identification, and possibly a reference. Are there any agencies that help new immigrants with housing? Yes, there are several nonprofit organizations that can assist you. How much should I expect to pay in rent? It varies, but for a small apartment, around $800 to $1,200 per month. Do I need to pay a security deposit? Yes, usually one month's rent as a deposit. Can I rent an apartment before arriving in the country? It's possible, but it's better to see the place in person first. What are some safe neighborhoods to consider? Downtown, Midtown, and Riverdale are all good options. How long does the rental application process take? It usually takes about a week. Thank you for the information. You're welcome. Good luck with your search. Chapter 28 Seeking Legal Advice Listen and practice. I need to seek legal advice. Can you recommend someone? Sure. What type of legal issue are you dealing with? It's a business related issue. I recommend contacting Johnson and Associates. They specialize in business law. How do I schedule a consultation with them? You can call their office or book an appointment online. What documents should I bring to the consultation? Bring any relevant contracts, correspondence, and identification. How much do they charge for a consultation? Their initial consultation fee is $150. Can they help with contract reviews? Yes, they offer contract review services. Are they experienced with small businesses? Yes, they have a good reputation for helping small businesses. How long does a typical consultation last? Usually about an hour. Do they offer any free legal resources? Yes, they have a few guides and templates on their website. Thanks for the recommendation. You're welcome. I hope they can help you. Chapter 29, Applying for a Loan Listen and practice. I need to apply for a loan. Can you guide me? Of course. What type of loan are you looking for? A personal loan for home improvements. You'll need to gather your financial documents and proof of income. What's the typical interest rate for a personal loan? It varies, but usually between 5% and 12%. How long does the approval process take? It can take anywhere from a few days to a couple of weeks. Do I need to have a cosigner? Not necessarily, but it can help if your credit score isn't high. What documents will the bank require? Proof of income, bank statements, and identification. Can I apply for the loan online? Yes, most banks offer online applications. How much can I borrow? It depends on your income and credit score, but typically up to $50,000. What if my application is denied? You can ask for the reasons and try to improve your credit score before reapplying. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Good luck with your application. Chapter 30 Arranging Childcare Listen and practice. I need to arrange childcare for my kids. Can you help me? Sure. What type of childcare are you looking for? A daycare center that's close to my work. I recommend Sunshine Daycare. They have a good reputation. What are their hours of operation? They're open from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday to Friday. How much do they charge per week? It's about $200 per week. Do they provide meals for the children? Yes, they provide breakfast, lunch, and snacks. What documents do I need to enroll my child? You'll need to provide immunization records and emergency contact information. Can I visit the daycare before making a decision? Yes, they offer tours for prospective parents. Are there any extra fees for activities? Some activities may have additional fees, so it's best to ask. Do they have a curriculum for learning and play? Yes, they have a structured curriculum that includes both. Thanks for the recommendation. You're welcome. I hope it works out for you. Chapter 31. Using Public Transportation Listen and Practice Do you know which bus goes to the city center? Yes, you can take bus number 5. How often does it run? Every 15 minutes, usually. Where is the nearest bus stop? Just around the corner, next to the cafe. Do I need exact change for the bus fare? Yes, it's better to have the exact amount. Can I pay with a card instead? 
Some buses accept cards, but not all. Is there a bus schedule available online? Yes, you can check it on the city's transit website. How long does the ride to the city center take? It takes about 30 minutes. Is the bus usually crowded at this time? It can be during rush hours, but it's manageable. Do I need to signal the driver to stop? Yes, press the stop button before your stop. Thanks for the information. You're welcome. Have a good trip. Chapter 32 Talking to a Mechanic Listen and practice. My car is making a strange noise. Can you take a look at it? Sure. Can you describe the noise? It's a rattling sound coming from the engine. How long has it been making this noise? It started a few days ago. Have you noticed any other issues, like a drop in performance? Yes. It seems to be running less smoothly. It could be a loose part or an issue with the engine. Is it safe to drive it until it's fixed? It's best to avoid driving until we diagnose the problem. How long will the repair take? It depends on the issue, but usually a day or two. What's the estimated cost for the repair? I'll need to take a closer look, but it could be around $200. Can you give me a call once you know more? Absolutely, I'll call you as soon as we have a diagnosis. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. We'll get it sorted for you. Chapter 33. Organizing a Community Event Listen and practice. We need to organize a community event. Any ideas? How about a neighborhood cleanup day? That sounds great. What do we need to get started? We'll need volunteers, supplies, and permits if necessary. Where should we get the supplies from? Local stores might donate items, or we can use community funds. How do we recruit volunteers? We can put up flyers and post on social media. Should we set a date and time first? Yes, let's choose a weekend when most people are available. What about getting permits? I can check with the city to see if we need any permits. Do we need to provide refreshments? It's a good idea. We can ask local businesses for donations. How should we spread the word? Flyers, social media, and word of mouth are all effective. What if it rains on the event day? We should have a backup date just in case. Thanks for the ideas. You're welcome. Let's make this a successful event. Chapter 34. Reporting a lost item. Listen and practice. I lost my wallet. What should I do? First, retrace your steps to see if you can find it. I've already done that, but no luck. You should report it to the police and your bank. How do I report it to the police? Go to the nearest police station or file a report online. What information do I need to provide? Describe the wallet and list any important contents. Should I cancel my credit cards? Yes, call your bank immediately to cancel them. What about my ID and other documents? You'll need to apply for replacements. Can I get a temporary ID? Yes, the DMV can issue a temporary ID. Should I check with lost and found offices? Yes, check with places you visited and the local transit authority. How long does it usually take to replace everything? It can take a few weeks, depending on the documents. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. I hope you find your wallet. Chapter 35. Inquiring about local services. Listen and practice. I'm new to the area and need information about local services. Sure, what specific services are you looking for? I need to find a good doctor and a grocery store. For doctors, you can check the local health clinic. Do you have any recommendations for grocery stores? Yes, Green Market and Fresh Foods are both good options. Where is the nearest health clinic? It's on Main Street, next to the pharmacy. Are there any public transportation options nearby? Yes, there's a bus stop two blocks away. How about parks and recreational areas? Central Park is a great place for outdoor activities. Are there any community centers around? Yes, the community center offers various programs and classes. Where can I find information about local events? Check the community board at the library or visit the city's website. Is there a local library I can visit? Yes, the public library is on Elm Street. Thanks for the information. You're welcome. Enjoy your new neighborhood. 
Chapter 36 Discussing Household Chores Listen and practice. Can we talk about dividing the household chores? Sure, what do you have in mind? I think we should make a schedule to share the work equally. That sounds fair. What chores are we talking about? Cleaning, cooking, laundry, and grocery shopping. Okay, how about I take care of the cooking and laundry? That works. I can handle cleaning and grocery shopping. Great. Should we alternate on weekends? Yes. Let's switch chores every weekend to keep it balanced. Do you think we need a chart to keep track? A chart would be helpful to avoid confusion. I can make one and put it on the fridge. Perfect. Let's review it every Sunday. Agreed. This should make things easier for both of us. Chapter 37. Negotiating a Salary Listen and practice. I have a meeting to negotiate my salary. Any tips? Be confident and know your worth. Have you done market research? Yes, I've looked up the average salary for my position. Good. Use that information to support your case. Should I mention my accomplishments at work? Definitely. Highlighting your achievements is key. How should I start the conversation? Start by expressing your appreciation for the opportunity, then discuss your performance. What if they offer less than I expect? Be prepared to negotiate. Know your minimum acceptable salary. Should I be flexible with benefits instead of salary? Yes, sometimes benefits can add significant value. How do I handle a counteroffer? Take your time to consider it and compare it to your goals. Is it okay to ask for time to think about their offer? Absolutely. It's important to make an informed decision. What if they say no to my request? Ask for feedback on what you can do to meet their expectations in the future. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Good luck with your negotiation. Chapter 38. Participating in a parent-teacher meeting. Listen and practice. I have a parent-teacher meeting tomorrow. What should I expect? The teacher will discuss your child's progress and any concerns. What questions should I ask? Ask about your child's strengths, areas for improvement, and how you can support learning at home. Should I bring anything with me? Bringing a notebook to jot down notes can be helpful. How long do these meetings usually last? They typically last about 15 to 20 minutes. What if I have concerns about my child's performance? Be honest and express your concerns. Teachers appreciate open communication. Can I request additional resources or support? Yes, if you feel your child needs extra help, don't hesitate to ask. How can I stay involved in my child's education? Volunteer for classroom activities and stay in regular contact with the teacher. What if the teacher suggests extra tutoring? Consider it if it's within your means. It can greatly benefit your child. Should I follow up after the meeting? Yes, follow up to discuss any agreed-upon actions and monitor progress. Thanks for the tips. You're welcome. I'm sure the meeting will go well. Chapter 39. Attending a Homeowners Association Meeting Listen and practice. I have to attend a homeowners association meeting. What should I know? These meetings discuss community issues, rules, and improvements. Should I prepare anything beforehand? Review the meeting agenda and any relevant documents. What kind of topics are usually covered? Topics include maintenance, budgets, community events, and rule changes. Can I bring up my own concerns? Yes, there's usually a section for homeowners to speak. How long do these meetings last? They can last from an hour to a couple of hours, depending on the agenda. What if I can't attend in person? Check if they offer virtual attendance options or provide meeting minutes. Is it important to participate actively? Yes, being active helps ensure your concerns are addressed and you stay informed. Can I vote on issues discussed? If you're a member in good standing, you typically have voting rights. Should I take notes during the meeting? Yes, it helps to keep track of important points and follow-up actions. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Have a productive meeting. Chapter 40. Planning a Family Vacation Listen and practice. We need to start planning our family vacation. Yes, where should we go this year? 
I was thinking about the beach. What do you think? That sounds great. Which beach are you thinking of? How about Miami Beach? Good choice. When should we go? I'm thinking early August. That works for me. How long should we stay? A week would be perfect. Agreed. What kind of accommodation should we look for? Let's go for a beachfront hotel with a pool. Great idea. Should we book any activities in advance? Yes. Maybe some water sports and a boat tour. Sounds fun. I'll start researching hotels. Thanks for taking the lead on this. No problem. This vacation is going to be awesome. Chapter 41 Handling an Emergency Situation Listen and practice. We need to have a plan for emergency situations. Absolutely. What kind of emergencies should we prepare for? Things like fires, earthquakes, and medical emergencies. Let's start with a fire escape plan. We should identify all exits and have a meeting point outside. Agreed. What about emergency contacts? We need a list of contacts, including family and emergency services. We should also have a first aid kit ready. Good idea. How about for earthquakes? We should know safe spots to take cover and have a supply kit. What should be in the supply kit? Water, non perishable food, flashlight, batteries, and a radio. How do we handle medical emergencies? We need to know basic first aid and CPR. Should we take a first aid course? Yes, it's a good idea for everyone. Thanks for organizing this. You're welcome. Safety is important for all of us. Chapter 42 Requesting Customer Service Support. Listen and practice. I need to contact customer service about my order. What seems to be the issue? My package arrived damaged. That's frustrating. Have you tried calling them? Not yet. What should I say? Explain the situation clearly and ask for a replacement or refund. Should I have my order number ready? Yes, it helps to have all relevant information at hand. What if they refuse to help? Stay calm and ask to speak to a supervisor. Should I send them photos of the damage? Yes, taking photos can support your claim. How long does it usually take to resolve these issues? It varies, but usually within a few days. Can I request a confirmation of the resolution? Yes, ask for written confirmation via email. Thanks for the tips. You're welcome. Good luck. Chapter 43 Asking for Technical Support. Listen and practice. My computer is having issues. Can you help me contact technical support? Sure. What's the problem? It keeps freezing and won't load programs. Have you tried restarting it? Yes, but it didn't help. Okay, let's call technical support. Have your serial number ready. Should I describe the problem in detail? Yes, the more details, the better. What if they ask me to perform some troubleshooting steps? Follow their instructions carefully and take notes. How long does it usually take to resolve these issues? It depends on the problem, but usually within an hour. Can they remote access my computer? Yes, some support services offer remote assistance. Should I ask for a case number? Yes, it helps to keep track of your support request. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Hope your computer gets fixed soon. Chapter 44 Getting Information at a Tourist Office. Listen and practice. I want to get some information from the tourist office. Can you come with me? Sure. What do you need to find out? I'm looking for local attractions and activities. They should have plenty of brochures and maps. Should I ask about guided tours? Yes, guided tours can be a great way to explore the area. What about local events? Definitely ask about any upcoming events or festivals. Is it useful to get a city pass? A city pass can save you money on attractions and transportation. Can they help with hotel recommendations? Yes, they usually have good suggestions and might offer discounts. Should I get information about public transportation? Yes, it's important to know the routes and schedules. What other services do they offer? Some tourist offices offer bike rentals and booking services. How long does it usually take to get all the information? 
about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your questions. Thanks for coming with me. You're welcome. This will make our trip more enjoyable.